Greetings, family, and welcome to another episode of Wake Up Africa. My name is Dr. Mumbi Saraki. How you doing? How's everything going? I really do pray, family, that you are well in all of your ways and that you are enjoying a new dimension of reality. From the dimension that you were previously on, you know, special shout out, of course, to the sponsor of this show, Ruby Finance. They are hosting an amazing two-week trip to Gambia family from November 12th to November 24th. It's going to be a spiritual trip. It's going to be a business trip. And it's going to provide a lot of, um, you know, hands-on experience, interaction with the right people in Gambia in case you are thinking of real Locating to the country, here's Errol, uh, who just took a bath. You know what? The, I came with some little fish for him. Sorry, guys, I think that muzzled the thing. I came with some little fish for him because you guys were suggesting maybe I should give him snacks, but hey, Errol, what's up? Please, let's just, you know, let's cool it down. Yeah, he just took he, he just took a bath, family. But anyway, um, Ruby Finance family, they do have special information sessions uh, available, so you can definitely reach out to them. Hello at rubyfinance.ca, and they will definitely send you the link to that or let you know when they're having their next one, family. We are literally witnessing the fall of the French Empire in Gambia. I think we've been talking about that for so long. I don't know how long I've been telling you Babylon has fallen. There's a revolution going on in France. It's like karma or, you know, the French Revolution. The French story is repeating itself. Where the conqueror now is being conquered by their own people and they literally have to retreat, but they don't want to give up the natural resources. And I think it is amazing what is happening, especially with the recent overthrowing of Niger family. And then we saw France and the divided states saying that they wanted to come in and have an intervention. You know, this is what I call the narrative war, where they are literally wanting now to invade, to recolonize, to neocolonize, and they call it at a, oh, we want to come in, you know, to restore balance. But their narratives are totally crumbling, family. We are a new breed of African, and I think the West Africans are the ones showing it. And, you know, I don't know all the details, although I did see a beautiful video of, like, um, was it in Niger? Where they had a full stadium, I think ECOWAS. And uh, please watch my show, family, on why our presidents continuously betray us so we can, you can start to understand their mindset. Remember, it is a group consciousness, which means it's a group consensus. The more we understand the mindset of those who are against us, the more we can override that mindset with a new way of thinking. Stories for other days. We are literally witnessing the fall of the French Empire family. It's collapsing before our very eyes. And it cannot be reversed. And this is what I saw spiritually, because as I was saying, I haven't really followed like the daily news of it, you know? I've just been seeing snippets of it. And the feeling I had is that, you know, when, when people who visit Africa compare West Africa to East Africa, they often talk about how East Africa is way more cloned. Let me just say maybe Kenya, but East Africa, you know, they consider us softer, but it's where the religious colonization is way heavier, especially, you know, Christianity, which totally demonizes our ancestors totally demonizes our cultural practices and many countries in which have been dominated by Christianity. It's only now that they're even trying to recover that connection with their ancestors. And it's all happening through, you know, this need, this rite of passage, this need for the boy to become a man and all that. And this desire for, you know, traditional weddings to look like you, you know, you're culturally uh, uh, overstanding. Although to be fair, like the Agikoyo, there's always, there's, in Kenya, for example, there's always that cultural wedding and then the white wedding. 
but the cultural wedding used to be super small and then the the, the mzungu wedding is, or the christian wedding is massive whereas now they've either come into balance some people are even just opting to do the cultural wedding and leaving out you know that christian vibe so there's a lot in transition that is happening family so there is a very deep awakening that's happening on the eastern coast of africa but you are not yet seeing that revolutionary spirit bubble up and so the hard men the puppets of the west are still largely in control of east africa whereas compared to west africa where a lot of the religion that tried to that, was, that launched the military attack was islam where Islam allows you to have your jinns and your cultural practices and acknowledges the various levels of the spiritual realm and actually informs their people. And also, for one reason or another, the West African brothers and sisters have been able to stay connected way more powerfully. And I really feel, feel it's a religious thing, but let me know what you think in the comments below. But I feel like they've been able to stay way more connected ancestrally and that's why now we're witnessing kind of the rebirth and the revolution and the renaissance of Africa happening from the Western Gate, if we want to put it that, or is that the Eastern Gate? Because, you know, they say Africa's upside down stories for other days. There's so much I could say about the map. I actually already did a show on that. Maybe I'll try and look for it and re-upload it. So family. It's over. It's done. I don't know what else you need to see now. But it's up for us to mentally bring in that new dawn. And like in Niger, where in solidarity, citizens came from far and wide to fill the stadium as the military took their lap. to show that they are sick and tired of being sick and tired. And you see, that's why we have to get out of the narrative also of Babylon trying to say, oh, now these armies will never do this, they'll never do that, they're gonna do this, they're gonna do that, because we feel that. Because it's almost like the armies have been empowered by the ancestors, because they're taking some bold moves. I think the 34-year-old general, he was even saying, yo, we're not shipping this, we're not shipping that. No unrefined products leave our country. And the fact that it's been like a domino effect. And then France itself, family, is burning. They're not doing too well. There's like a whole revolution. So it's like the, the ancestors have come from both sides. The spirit of the ancestors have come from both sides. Those that, that settled in France and had built homes and had claimed the land. Because you see, there's something that... We were never taught, and maybe I'll do a whole show on this. <laughs> hey, Errol. About how we own, you know, when you actually own a piece of property, this whole thing of um, private ownership of land. I'll, whole, I'll do a whole show on this family. But this whole thing of private ownership of land was to disinherit us from being able to speak to the land and have the land hear us. But as our people have gone and become ballers in the Frances and the divided kingdoms of this world and have bought land and have done this and have done that, it has totally, totally changed up the game, family. It's totally changed up the game because now they can speak into that land, whether consciously or unconsciously, but mostly through their ancestors. So it is a new dawn, it is a new day, family. We are super excited. If you want to visit the motherland family, definitely check out Ruby Finance. They have a, you know, a trip there from November 12th to November 14th. But until then, Errol, stay uplifted, family. The revolution is obviously <laughs> being televised. Tuko Pamoja. Come on, Errol. Owning your African real estate is one click away. Ruby Finance is a black owned real estate agency helping Afro descendants invest and relocate in Africa. Act now and save your spot in paradise.